Yo, what's poppin'? It's Tomathan, and we have some pretty relieving news that the London Spitfire have re-signed Sparker for Season 6, and they're keeping the core five together from last year. And at the beginning of this offseason, I had some big questions on if they were going to be able to do this, because I thought Sparker may have outplayed their potential wages for him. Like, he might have outplayed their next salary. Because he had such a fantastic year, and in my opinion, in terms of gameplay, he was their MVP. Hadi maybe was the actual MVP in terms of leadership and everything like that. But from what I was seeing on the screen, I was locked in with Sparker for sure. And then it goes to, well, who else could he actually have signed with? There's not that many mixed rosters available. There's what London Glads, Toronto, Vancouver, um, Washington, New York, Florida, and Valiant, I guess, were the options. But a lot of them lock down their players pretty early. You know, Vancouver picks up Aspire. Toronto locks in high run with AT. Florida get Merritt, and you're not going to complain about that at all. And then you're just left with, you know, if Glad's wanted him, maybe they could have picked him up. But it looks like they're leaning towards Kai. It's been the rumor forever. And with Sparker gone, I don't know who else it could be but Kai at this point, really. I guess he sues available, something like that. But, and then you look at the other guys, New York, Washington, maybe Valiant. Would he rather accept maybe a little bit more money to play with them or take the discount, the hometown discount, not hometown, but you know what I mean, the hometown discount to stay with the London boys and run it back with some more vibes for the next year? You know, I don't think any of those teams are going to be able to offer him the success or and the money, you know, to really leave that. So it just London was the only team, I guess, really available after Glad's, in my opinion. And we don't even know if Glads were interested in him. Maybe they were just locked in on Kai at the beginning. And there's that. So it just makes sense to stay with London. And it benefits both of them so much. I don't think Sparker would have found as much success anywhere else as he would with London. Even on a team like Glads where maybe the raw mechanics of everyone around him would be better. You know, you get to play beside Kevster, maybe Yaki. Nah, Kevster stays in the whole time. But you know what I mean? You get to play with these star-studded rosters compared to, you know, London. They have some good synergy, but... Pound for pound, they're not matching. Kempster's not being outplayed by Backbone and anything but May, you know? So I think it benefits him a lot more, even staying with London, just because of the synergy and just the good vibes of the team. I think it, it makes too much sense. I don't think London would get more value of any other hit scan than Sparker either. They were rumored to be picking up Lethal. They might still, because I, th- I think you do want another DPS to round out Sparker Backbone. There are some holes there with Backbone's hero pool. And Sparker staying on the hit scan predominantly, he can't play the Tracer. But then, what's going on with Backbone? You know what I mean? It's kind of tough. So, I don't know. I like that for them, too. I think London makes a lot of sense. But I don't know if they're going to be able to maintain their success despite keeping their core together. They finished 6th in the league last season. In NA, rather. And there are some good teams this season that it's like... It's going to be tough for them to maintain this. You're looking, it's like Atlanta, Boston, Houston, Shock, Gladiators, Toronto. That's six already. And then I think Florida, Vancouver look pretty comparable, at least. And all the tournaments are international anyway. So you're, you're really competing with everyone. It's just like, it's going to be tough for London. Now, they're lucking to a Ryan meta. I have no doubt they'll be the best team, though. Hottie is just another level on the Reinhardt. Backbone's a different breed on the May. They have their meta. They can be good. But overall, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to maintain the success. Let me know down below if you think they're going to be able to maintain it or not. Regardless, they like being the underdogs. So it works out for them in any way. Uh, so anyway, like this video, subscribe, all that stuff. Have yourself a good one and uh, deuces.